Hello everyone, welcome to our special Techno channel. Last session we talked about the second part of creating the line styles with SLD. In this session we will learn you how to define styles for the first part of polygon feature types by Joe Server. If you want to know more details about it, watch the rest of this video. A polygon is a geometric data type used in Joe's special information systems to represent a closed shape with a straight sides. Polygons are commonly used to represent areas such as country, state, and etc. in GIS applications. In Joe server, polygons contain both an outer edge or a stroke and an inside or field. Also, it is styled in similar ways to points. As for points, we will start with a simple symbol and then move to examples that are more complex. Simple polygon with a stroke. This example shows a polygon by a random color with a thickness of 0.5 pixels. To do it, navigate to the style section from data menu. Then click on add a new style. Enter simple polygon in the name field and select SLD in the format field. At the list of default styles from style content, select polygon and click on the generate link. Scroll down and delete some extra lines from the style editor box as you see on the screen. Finally, click on validate to check if you misspelled something. When it returns no errors, click on the apply button. Now we will explain some elements. There is one rule is one feature type style for this SLD, which is the simplest possible situation. The name element shows the name of the style that you defined in the name field, line 8. The title element in line 10 assigns a descriptive name to this style, and the title element at line 13 assigns a descriptive name to its rule. Styling polygon is accomplished via the polygon symbolizer element, lines 14 to 22. Line 16 sets a random color as the field color, change it to yellow. Line 19 specified the stroke color to black and line 20 specified that the width of the stroke to 0.5 pixels. Switch to the layer preview section and click the layer name above the preview box and select parcels layer. You have built a simple polygon symbol. You may work the same way as with line strings, line dashing, transparency and different colors and widths. We will explore the different ways of filling polygons in the next examples. Click Save. Transparent polygon with offset inner lines. This example first makes the fill partially transparent by setting the opacity to 30%. Then demonstrate how to draw inner buffer lines inside the polygon. Click the Add a new style. Then enter transparent polygon with offset inner lines for its name. Select simple polygon styles from the existing styles, then click on the copy link. From the style editor box, edit some lines as you see in the screen. Click on the Apply button, then switch to the Layer Preview section and select Parcels layer. The value of 0.3 results in transparent field that is 30% opaque. An opacity value of 1 would draw the field as 100% opaque, while an opacity value of 0 would result in a completely transparent field. Now press enter at the end of line 23, then add these codes that you see on the screen.
Click on validate to check if you misspelled something. When it returns no errors, click on the apply button. Lines 24 to 30 specify details for the inner buffer inside the polygon. Very dark gray line 2 pixels bits is specified at line 26 and 27 respectively. Finally, line 29 controls the buffering distance setting an inner buffer of 3 pixels. Click Save. Graphic Field Colors may help you in pointing out some areas, but you may need something different. Patterns of markers are widely used in mapping. As we did with points and lines, the solution is using an external graphic resource. For example, a PNG file can be used to fill a polygon. Click the Add a New Style again. Then enter graphic field for its name. Select simple polygon style from the existing styles. Then click on the copy link. Edit the text inside the name and title elements. To create a graphic field for filling, you need to edit the fill element as shown in the screen. To set the external graphic element, click the insert image icon at top of the style editor box. And from upload new image, click the choose file button. Then browse to the graphical image from your system and click OK. Click on validate to check if you misspelled something. When it returns no errors, click on the apply button. Switch to the layer preview section and click the layer name above the preview box and select parcels layer. This style fills the polygon with a tiled graphic. This is known as an external graphic in SLD to distinguish it from commonly used shapes such as squares and circles that are internal to the renderer. Lines 18 to 21 specify details for the graphic, with line 19 setting the path and file name of the graphic, and line 20 indicating the file name or MIME type of the graphic. Click Save button. Hatching field. Hatching a polygon is a different way to produce maps. The advantage is that you don't need to search for or build a graphical resource. It's also faster for Joe server to render a map without using external graphic resources. When it is feasible to achieve the same results with internal resources, stick to hatching. Click the add a new style again, then enter hatching field for its name. Select graphic fill style from the existing styles, then click on the copy link. Edit the text inside the name and title elements. To create a hatching style polygon, you need to replace the external graphic element with the mark element as you see on the screen. In this example, there is a graphic field tag as in the graphic field example, but a mark tag is used instead of an external graphic. 
Line 19 specify a slash symbol be tiled throughout the polygon. Other options are whole line, dot, plus, times, and etc. Line 21 sets the color to orange. Line 22 sets the width of the hatches to 1 pixel. And line 25 sets the width of the tile to 12 pixels. Click on validate to check if you misspelled something. When it returns no errors, click on the apply button. Switch to the layer preview section and click on the layer name above the preview box. Then select parcels layer. Click save button. In this session, we learned you how to create the simple polygon styles by Joe Server. It's our pleasure that you subscribe to our channel and watch the videos. Also, if you would like to learn how to create different types of line styles in Joe Server, we recommend you to watch the suggested videos. Have a good time!